Bible. I, or Adam Ochiri, do hereby swear by the Bible, do hereby swear by the Bible, that the evidence I shall give before the commission of inquiry, that the evidence I shall give before the commission of inquiry, shall be the truth, shall be the truth, the whole truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Please be reminded that by the oath you have taken, you have made a promise to speak the truth, and the failure to do so constitutes an offense. For which you'll be liable to punishment. Sad much, you're welcome. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Would you, for the purposes of the record, state your full name to the commission? My full name is Paul Adum Ochri. I'd like to add that Adum Ochri is a compound name. And Ochri is spelled O-T-C-H-E-R-E. -E. Very well. Um, Mr. Adum Ochri, what do you do by way of profession? My lord, I'm a broadcast journalist. For how long have you done that? My Lord, I've done that for close to 20 years. Do you work by yourself or you work for an organization? My Lord, I currently work for Metropolitan Television, Metro TV. Very well. Um, did you personally take part in monitoring the I was to West work on by election? Yes. Yes, my lord, I did. Were you physically present at any of the polling stations? No, my lord, I wasn't physically present at any of the polling stations. So how did you monitor the election? So my lord, if you permit me, I just would like to explain how we conduct election reporting for the purposes of main election and by-election. So we put together a production team of broadcast journalists, of cameramen, and of different people associated with it. Monitoring is done from people, reporters at the polling station, reporters at other parts of the constituency, so that we can put together a contextual story about what is happening. So in this particular election, and with some of the election, what we do is that we do a pre-reporting. So we go to the constituency to do a live coverage, a live program, talking to... Oh, I'm sorry. Very well, Mr. Chairman. So we do preliminary reporting on the constituency. And in this particular regard, Two weeks before, we attended a constituency, specifically the University of Ghana, gathered supporters of both political parties to test the momentum and test their preparedness and their psychological attitude towards the election in a live television broadcast. So we did that on two occasions to prepare ourselves and also to help us prepare our notes for the event. By notes, I mean our positioning, how we should conduct ourselves. For this particular election, we had um, told our reporters to be mindful, given that it's a by-election, and given the experience we had had covering by-election, they should be mindful of being used as a platform by either political party. What happens in these by-elections is that, oh, I'm sorry, I'm still fast, sorry, really sorry. What happens in these by-elections is that the political parties make complaints and accusations about each other to the media. And if we don't verify and these complaints are reported, 
it heightens the temperature. So from the two events that we held prior to the election in the constituency, we came to the conclusion that we should be very mindful on voting day about hearing reports from an NDC person says, I've been beaten up, I've been shot, they slapped me, they did that. We should be very careful about how we communicate such reports. So we designed a model to verify some of these things, and that was the preparation with which we entered Ayawa Soros were gone on event day. Now, specifically on the event day, what role did you play in monitoring? Monitoring, monitoring our reports and monitoring from other people who we sometimes deploy to find out what is happening by the hour or by the quarter. And have you got any specific material, being a video, pictures, that you think will be helpful to the work of the commission? Yes, we do have videos um, from the commission that I will have on a pen drive and present to the commission. These are videos that were captured by Metro TV cameras exclusively. Have they been presented already? No, I have not yet presented, but I will present they them. Present here? Um, they are not, but I could get them within a very short time. Today. today. Very well. So we are sure that by close of day today, we'll have all materials in your possession. Yes, video materials. Videos to be specific. Yes, please. Very well. Thank you. Tell my your witness. Who captured these uh, videos? Who took the videos? It was Metro TV cameras. Specifically, Metro TV cameras, yes. Yeah. I mean, names. Can you tell us exactly who took the videos? Our camera crew, there are a lot of people, about five, six different people who took it. And we have used some of them uh, publicly, but we haven't used some of them. So we'll submit all to you. Apart from the videos, do you have any other materials relating to the elections? Uh, which was held at uh, this particular constituency? No, the videos are, we're a television company, so our main raw material is videos. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Oladmochi. Unfortunately, because we haven't seen the videos, it makes it difficult to ask anything and you were not an eyewitness either so it's a little difficult um, I, I really wish you, you had brought uh, the videos then we would have been in a position to uh, ask questions about things that were not clear but as things are I have nothing unclear to clarify so I will pass up at this time. Well, thank you very much. We'll expect uh, the videos that you have and um, we'll watch them and take them into consideration in our deliberations. You, may free to, you are free to go. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.